Martin, the Beast came from 2-0 down to secure a late draw against Acton on Saturday. How pleased were you with the result and the performance? Yeah, the light of the result, um, Will, was robbery, wasn't it, really? Nicking that point in the last couple of minutes. Um, nothing. We defended well. Been quite resolute. 2-0 down, 10 minutes to go. They had three chances to make it 3-0, but they never took them. So then we sort of pushed three up front and just had a gamble, really. Um, but the players acquitted themselves well, they competed well. Um, and then to get those two goals, one off a set play, which we practiced on the training pitch, was good. And uh, the players, of course, were very happy. Um, and it does remind me, um, in hindsight, of some of the performances earlier in the season, where I thought we played very well away from home and got nothing. Hit the post, hit the crossbar, goalkeeper making good saves, kind of refereeing decisions had gone against us. And look got nothing. So for that one on Saturday, yeah, it was a uh, good, nice feeling. John Kindy got a goal and an assist on Saturday. What did you make of his contribution to the team? Well, he done better, that's for sure. And what he, um, uh, he done better, he done much better. Pleased for him. Jamie Stevens put in another impressive performance in goal. How crucial has his form been to the positive results we've seen in the last couple of months? Yeah, he's had a great contribution. He's uh, still young. Still up and coming. Um, but I think the players would be the first to say it's a, it's a team effort. Everybody's been contributing. We've worked hard on that training pitch to uh, uh, build up some team spirit, some organisation, um, and working uh, to, to, to be good defensively after we've been too lax and too open. So uh, things have evolved with some new players coming in. Well, I thought we had to freshen it up early January. Uh, got good backing from the chairman to do that. And now, uh, obviously, things have, um, have gone much, much better, and Jane has been a big part of it. Saturday's result was even more impressive, considering we only had 10 men on the pitch for the latter stages of the game. But yeah. how's Chris Hackett's condition following the injury? Uh, Chris has got a medial knee ligament problem. Uh, we'll let it settle down before we have to see where we have to uh, scan that to see if there's any further damage. He's, um, you know, he's going to be out for a while, there's no doubt about that. Um, but yeah, with 10 men, 2 nil down, 10 men, it was a smash and grab raid to be fair. Um, yeah, it leaves us one short now for this Plymouth game coming up tomorrow night, another good team. We played Portsmouth and then Accrington and now we're at Plymouth all in, the, in a week. So it's a real test for our players. That's why I tried to freshen up the group by making changes on Saturday. It wasn't because anybody didn't play well against Portsmouth that they weren't playing. I'm explain that everyone's going to play in the team and uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to persevere with our young players and keep trying to get our young players involved as well. Do you have any news on the other injured players in the Barnet squad? Um, who else is there? Graham Stack, he's progressing nicely but he's not fit yet. Uh, Sean Back, he's still a bit tight I think. Uh, Gash, he's coming on nicely but he's not ready yet. Who else? Elliot Johnson. Elliot Johnson, he's close, but he's not ready for this one. There was another full debut for one of Barnett's youngsters the weekend from Nia Shomerton. How do you feel that he got on? I thought he'd done great. I thought he'd done great. Um, we played at the game with, uh, without a lot of the ball. They obviously have control of the, of the ball, um, the way they play. So it was a difficult one for him to go and play. But I really wanted to, him to play last week against Portsmouth because I thought yeah, that had been a great game for him to play in. But I decided last minute to put Matty in. So Saturday it was um, Fumi's turn. He's been brilliant in training. He's been brilliant. Great on the ball. The players all like him. He's got fitter and faster over the past few months with the work that he's had to do. And now um, he will get chances again before the end of this season. He, he, on Saturday I thought he was good with the ball, but I thought we just needed to do something a little bit different. It didn't work because we went 2-0 down soon after. Um, but you know that's the job I have to do. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't get it right. Um, but it was good to see him out there. Two debuts for 18-year-olds in, in five days is good. And there'll be another... Um, well, we're going to see more of them. We're going to see more of them through the, uh, for the next couple of months. Finally, next up for the Bees, as you say, is a home clash with Plymouth Argyle. What do you think we can expect from Derek Adams' team? They're a good team, there's no doubt about that. You know, they're going to get promoted automatically. Uh, they go straight up, there's no doubt. 
Um, he's brought some good players down from Scotland with his contacts up there. Good team, played really, really well against us. Um, but we also gave a good account of ourselves that night. And um, you know, I, I, I can't, you know, mess about with this one. Every, you know, I've got to play the best team uh, that we've got available. And uh, I'll reiterate, everybody's got to be on their game. You know, you can't play these decent teams and uh, have people have off days. Everyone's got to be fully on it to get anything out of these games. Thanks, Martin.